1 a.m. on April 25th, a safety test began that would seal the fate of the area for centuries to come. The idea was to see if, in the event of a power failure, the reactors could continue generating electricity until the backup generators powered on. As part of this test, the emergency cooling system in the reactor 4 was shut down so it wouldn't interfere with the results. Power demand in the area remained too high for the test to proceed, and it was put off until 11 p.m. This meant that the night crew, who hadn't been properly briefed or trained as to how to perform the duties of the test, would be the ones st starting it. Just before 12.30 a.m. on the 26th, power in the reactor plummeted, and in an effort to regain power, several control rods were removed. Within a half hour, power stabilized, and the supervisors gave the green light to proceed. Within 20 minutes, however, the power spiked, and one of the operators hit the emergency shutdown. This should have caused the control rods to drop back into the core, but due to malfunctions, it resulted in a massive explosion. The 1,000-ton roof on the reactor 4 exploded in a fireball, and it shot into the sky. Still, it would take more than 36 hours before the citizens in the surrounding area would be evacuated. 